Hello Valued Viewers, I hope you're all doing wonderfully well and welcome to what is going to be a brilliant, fast-paced, hard-hitting and horrendously violent match. We are back in the East China Sea in 2025. Now, before we get on to the battle, we've got some stuff we need to go over. So please get a coffee, put your feet up and let's go over some information First, we need to establish why we're doing this battle. So far, we've done the following in this theatre. About a year ago, we did a four-part series, Could Taiwan Survive a Strike by China? As cool as it was, back then we were limited to 90s technology, so it never really gave a modern portrayal of how the battle would have gone. Then, just a few months ago, we did this. Is the US 7th Fleet vulnerable to Chinese strike near Taiwan? The idea here was that the US 7th Fleet was in the middle of the East China Sea, 300 miles away from China. China did a surprise attack. Could the US survive? This was a bit different. We had a certain amount of modern 2020s technology in it. And it was a good battle. But the only problem was it was very much the first attempt of using this modern technology. There were bugs with the missiles. Some of the sensors weren't working. Well, now we're coming back for a third time into the East China Sea. We've now got pretty much all the modern technology we need tested and working. So what is the new technology that we're introducing that's going to make it different from what we've done before? First, the China side. We now have the J-10C, the modernized indigenous fighter. To build it, we've taken the J-10A from Snowy Wolf, we've added a new engine, we've added an AES radar, and we've given it the ability to carry six PL-15 long-range air-to-air missiles. Next, J-20A, China's first and only stealth fighter interceptor. We have been using this for the last year or so, but it's never really worked properly. It's always had mismatched radars, mismatched flight model, mismatched damage model. We have finally, today for the first time, got the version 2 of it working. This means we've got the proper general purpose AESA radar in it. We've got the radar cross-section agreed with you guys, the detectability, and we'll talk more about that in a minute. The missiles we've got working properly, the version 2 PL-15, and we've got a working damage model in it for the first time. So we're good to go, finally, with J-20A. Finally, and most importantly, on the Chinese side, we now have a fully working model for the modern supersonic anti-ship missile, the YJ-12. We've had to go and build our own version of it to get it working, and we'll talk about more of that in a minute. For the Americans, for the first time in this theatre, we are using the modern AIM-260 JTAM. We suspect it to be entering service 2023. Also, all airborne assets with airborne radars now carry our general purpose AEC radar. As well as that, the Chinese are going to be running our version 2 of the PL-15, and we've got a bunch of miscellaneous stuff in the background that's very boring and I'm not going to talk about. That is why we are rerunning this type of fight today. Next, role play. The role play behind today's battle. Obviously, this is completely fictitious. Please don't read too much into it. Don't demonetize me. I'm not breaking any rules. China has decided to attack Taiwan. We are on day two here, but day one, China launched over 1,000 surface-to-service medium and long-range missiles against Taiwan. They mainly targeted Taiwanese air force and other military assets. Luckily, Taiwan saw fit to move over 75% of their air force underground before the strike. This means the Taiwanese air force is intact for day two. But because of the damaged runways and whatnot, it will be two campaign days before the Taiwanese Air Force is back up and running. So to fill the gap, starting on day two, America has moved in. Sailing from Japan, the US 7th Fleet have moved to the northeast of Taiwan. And you can see them here. They are going to obtain and keep air superiority over and around Taiwan from China. China to carry on their campaign, obviously the first thing they have to do is get air superiority, and so they're going to do a surprise organized strike against the US 7th Fleet. Why is the US 7th Fleet here, 200 miles away from the China coast? Why are they not, for instance, here in the Strait of Taiwan, when they can stand between Taiwan and China? The reason is, if they are 200 miles away, then they can stay out of the range of the short and medium range Chinese anti-ship missiles. They're still within range of the long-range anti-ship missiles, but there are much less of those. 
So this is as close as they're going to want to get to the Chinese coast. Note the geography. Obviously, it's 400 miles from Okinawa, which is here, to the Chinese mainland. Taiwan is here. The US 7th Fleet is 220 miles from Okinawa. Note the 390 miles here, just showing you roughly where the furthest away Chinese assets will be attacking from. Let's talk about the overview of the US 7th Fleet, obviously based in and around Japan. It consists of one CV USS Ronald Reagan, one LHA slash LHD USS America. Aboard Ronald Reagan are, as in real life, four squadrons of FA-18 Super Hornet plus Growler and Auxiliary. USS America carries 20 F-35Bs. Escort ships of 7th Fleet, as in real life, three Ticonderoga cruisers and Destroyer Squadron 15. Consists of eight Arleigh Burke destroyers. Giving a total today of the US faction of 94 AI aircraft and 13 ships plus human aircraft. The China side sees a smaller fight. 64 aircraft but remember it's a surprise attack and they are all airborne and pretty much supersonic most of the americans will start from their ships and will have to take off and so that will make a big difference next let's look at the micro details first u.s seventh fleet flagship uss ronald reagan moving at cruise 18 knots, she's carrying four squadrons, FA-18 Super Hornet, that's 72 aircraft. 68 are currently aboard her, four are already airborne and on patrol. They are all A skill level as all AI is today and their orders say they will fire at maximum range, they will defend the fleet and once they are out of long and medium range missiles, they will RTB and land. Armed with 14, so these are missile trucks, 14 AIM-260 JTAMs, a fuel tank, and two AIM-9X for self-defense. Next, USS America, equipped with F-35s. In real life, she uses F-35 Bravos for easy logistics and programming. We've used F-35A. Don't worry, in-game it will make no difference, so we've set them up to be identical to the F-35B to fire at maximum range and to RTB when they are out of medium and long-range missiles. Armed with four... AIM-260 JTAMs. They will be in stealth mode, not murder mode. They will not have their pylons. And this is very important, guys. Their radar cross-section today is 0.005 meters squared. This means that the hostiles with their AEC radar will only be able to fire on these stealths at 18.18 miles. Like I said, there will be a flight of four Super Hornets already up airborne and patrolling in the area. There will be two AWACSs at high altitude, E2 Hawkeye type, escort vessels, three Ticonderoga cruisers, bow, stern and port of the supercarrier will be doing close in defence. There's Ron 15. I'm not entirely sure where they will be, but I've seen fit to spread them out of various mileages to the northern hemisphere where the hostiles would be most likely to attack from. And those are, of course, Arleigh Burke type. Humans will start 10 miles aft of where the carrier start. They have two options. They can either fly a Super Hornet in murder spec as we talked about before or F-35 in stealth spec as we looked at before. Humans get infinite respawns here. Don't worry, it'll be perfectly matched on both sides. I have one rule for you guys, humans. Because you are simulating taking off on the carrier when you spawn in, you are to fly at low level and you are to buzz whichever carrier it is you would be taking off from. And then you're on your merry way to do whatever you want from then on, guys. That is the Americans today. One thing to note, in real life, Kadena Air Force Base is, of course, at Okinawa here, consisting two or three squadrons of F-15s and some fifth-gen aircraft. They are not taking part today because to operate effectively in the time span that this attack is going to happen, they would need to get KC-135 airborne first to allow them to transit the 250 miles. So they would more likely come in on day three of China's campaign. And China, as I talked about earlier, they are attacking the Pacific fleet because they need to get air superiority, because they need to carry on the pressure on Taiwan. They are attacking from the Chinese mainland and their distance is that any of the non-stealth fighters have to start outside of a 300 nautical mile ring, which you can see here. That is the detectable range from the closest US AWACS of Chinese fighter size non-stealth target. So that's the role play today. Note the stealth or stealth-ish Chinese fighters can start closer in. They consist of first 12 
J20A. Version 2 fully working finally. Max range launch but they will not RTB when they're out of ammo because we don't have any Chinese base simulated here because it's actually in the middle of the sea because we don't have this terrain so they will literally fight to the death guys. Four of the new PL-15 version 2 GR missiles. Range of around 120 nautical miles and I should say the AIM-260 JTAM on the American side is about 135 so slightly more than the PL-15. It's obviously a two-piece missile and the PL-15 is a single-piece missile. For close-range defense they have the new GRPL-10 the equivalent of the Block 1 AIM-9X from America. Note, and this is incredibly important guys, we have set the radar cross-section and detectability up on these aircraft of 0 0.05 meters squared. This puts it somewhere between stealth and low visibility. The American AESA radars will be able to pick this up and fire at it at 36 miles. We didn't just pull this number out of our hat, it's been agreed with you guys pretty much over the last year since we've been using the J-20A. That's the closest to what probably this actually is and will ever know. 12 of them AI. Next layer, 20 J10C. This is our first use of a J10C. New engine, new radar, new missiles. It can carry six PL-15 long range version two missiles, two PL-10s and a tank. How are they gonna perform today? Next, uh, the heavy hitters, 20 J-15s. Now they're pretending to be J-16s today. Um, why J-15s? It's because we don't want to have to maintain a separate J-16 as well. And J-16, J-15, as far as game is concerned, are going to be basically identical with 10 PL-15 version 2s and 4 PL-10s. All of those fighters so far, 52 of them, are to clear the way for this, the main attack. 10 H6J long-range anti-ship bombers. They're coming from 390 miles away. Why so far? Well, that's the distance the American AWACS would detect these large aircraft. They are flying at their maximum altitude and maximum speed. They are carrying four YJ-12s, not the YJ-12 we've been using over the last year from Core Game. As we all know, that is bugged. It carries the wrong amount of fuel, it does the wrong range, and it has the wrong seeker head on it. We've asked Core Game developers to fix it, and they haven't. So we've given up, and we've made our own. They look identical, but they have twice as much fuel, so they can now go over 200 miles as per the air launch real version of the YJ-12. Also, we've added our own GR seeker head in it, which means we can program them to go for certain ships as would be possible with these real missiles. This is a baptism of fire. It's the first test today, and we don't know how they're going to do in multiplayer, but we're going to find out. But note, the main thing is, these are absolute ship killers. There are 40 of these missiles. That is enough to sink the entire 7th Fleet. And they no longer have to get to within an unrealistic 100 or so miles. They can now fire at a realistic range of 200 miles, guys. That's really important. So basically, as they're crossing the coast of China, as in real life, they're going to be able to fire these missiles. Once they're fired, they're going to be very difficult to stop. So resources on the blue side must be given to somehow trying to stop these bomber force. Also, two AWACSs, KJ-2000 types, which will progress in Taiwan have these destroyers here. They are obviously not meant to be ships. They are the rough positions of real Patriot Pack 2 launchers, which have about the same effectiveness as the SM2s that these guys were carrying. So these guys here are simulating the Pack 2 Patriots on Taiwan. If you're in trouble, use them, fly into Taiwan, it will defend you. Humans can fly either a J-15 in murder spec or a J-20 semi-stealth aircraft in stealth spec. Guys, Sorry that's taken so long, but so much information to add in there, and it's so important if you're going to watch this battle to understand what's going on behind the scenes. Obviously, we haven't run this through. One thing I know is it's going to be horrendously quick and violent. The whole premise behind me setting this up was that China wanted to do not a sustained attack, but a quick punch. That's the only way you can beat America in a realistic battle, is a quick punch with everything going in at once, overwhelm Aegis. I'm not going to be able to see most of it as the uh, viewer because obviously there's only one thing I can watch at a time. So we're going to keep our best overview that we can. I need your predictions. Send. I fight for Winnie the Pooh, Emperor of the People's Republic of the Hundred Acre Woods in my J-15. And we will be victorious today. Right. Yeah, no, you won't. Huh. <laughs> there will be massive boom boom. The last time the Chinese used these missiles on the uh, carrier battles, they didn't get close to the ships, did they? But they don't need to anymore. Yeah, let's hope that we can get an overwhelmed force. The 
Current technology of the ships is SM2 self-defense from the 90s. This is rated to take down the YJ-12 in real life and in game. We don't need SM2+, plus. we don't need SM6. We will add those later into game to take on the uh, YG-21s and the hypersonic missiles, but this is all matching tech at the moment. Any other thoughts? Americans, I give you this one chance to surrender. Surrender to the glory of poo. What do you think, Grump? World War Three has begun. Huh. Nine. Guys, uh, because I set it up, I'm going to put my predictions. I set it up for China to win. There was zero cheating, there was zero bias. I can guarantee that. Everything is to the best conservative public data we can find. I'm pretty sure China's going to win this. If those missiles work, I am slightly worried. I'm not sure America could actually stop this in real life. And I think there's going to be huge losses. However, these battles, so there's so much dynamics going on. If America does lose, sorry, Valley viewers, as we know by now, we do not script these. And sometimes the popular guy will lose. That just might happen. If it does, maybe we'll come back on day three as Okinawa scrambles its fifth gen and fourth gen to counterattack. We'll see. Guys, let's see what happens. Simba, unpause. I wish you all well, kind of. All right, let's have a look at the bombers. Let's have a look at the J-15s. Go home, you American capitalists. Huh. Infringing in our airspace. You certainly played the character well, damn. Whoever the hell this is, get off our channels. <laughs> Right, just going to have a look at some Americans. Uh, yeah, oh, God, where's USS America? There's USS America. Does the F-35 twist mode work? Um, I would stick to STT for now, especially in a battle this big. Okay. Oh, guys are taking off. Hello, Bog. Damn, for Simba. Go for Sop. I thought if I was you are unleashed, go and kill. Meow. Boogity boogity boogity, let's go racing boys. Boogity boogity. Right, uh, let's have a look at whatever this guy's called. Ronald Reagan. 68 bogs, all ready to go. Lots and lots of bogs. Today is all about how quickly can America get guys in the sky. If you can get them in the sky quick enough, they've got a chance. If not, no part of chance. Right, let's do some ranges in... Oh, no, let's have a look at my humans. Right, we've got uh, Bird J-20, Simba J-20, Sock uh, is... Oh, missile truck. Sock, how does it feel to be in a missile truck? My social credit score is rising <laughs> faster than my altitude. Let's go. Oh, you guys demonetize me so freaking badly. This is good at the point of anyway, so I'm not going to worry about it too much as my guys in there. Remember, this is the semi self plane We've got it set up. Can be shot at at just under 40 miles. No missiles out yet. Let's have a look at ranges in nautical miles of from Desron 15 to these guys of 155 nautical miles. Whoosh! I give you J20 version 2 from Geo and the other guys. In fact, we can't really take credit for any of these. These all originate from other people, and we shouldn't take credit from them. Like I said, we just kind of make them work a bit better. Right, where do we start? AWACS. Let's have a look at who's ahead. War Dogs is the most aggressive, followed by Grump. Ooh, War Dogs in the suit. Here you go, sir. Full bog spec. So it looks like these guys are pushing the human blues, are pushing as quickly as they can. Get missiles in the air to buy. America as much time as they can to get their planes up. Like I said, there were four um, American planes already airborne, AI, and there were all of the humans were already airborne, so there were plenty already airborne. Maybe about ten. I will earn my distinguished flying cross of the Hundred Acre Woods today. I don't know what 100 acre woods, but we've got Vorad's um, losses thing up the top right here, which you guys seem to be enjoying, which is great. Uh, there's one titchy witchy bug today, which is these guys here. I've accidentally given them the wrong skin. Just this one squadron of, this one flight of uh, uh, J10Cs. Although they look kind of cool, right? Apart from the fact it says missing texture on it. Right, you don't yeah. know where Christopher Robin used to hang out? He is Winnie the Pooh. I get it, guys, I get it. Anyone know if the J20 has a fuel gauge? It does not have a fuel gauge. You've just got to... China just wants you to fly until you run out of fuel. First use of J10C in DCS, by the way, valued viewers. You saw it first here. In fact, there is another mod, but this is, I'd say, a lot more realistic because it's got the PL-15s and all that stuff and the AEs and radar on it.
first missile's out. PL-15, Mark IV capable to do 120 miles. It's a real son of a gun word. Note the tint on the smoke. Um, China are going to have an orange tint. Uh, America will have a slight white or blue tint. So you can help tell which missiles are which. Look at that. So these are the semi-stealth fighters firing on. Absolutely not stealthy. Wow, look at all these super bogs. AI super bogs to space. Now remember, AI super bogs can't see, even with the AEC radar, they cannot see J20 until they're 36 miles. So they're basically blind. And all this is coming towards them. And that's the thing. More missiles out. Loads of missiles out now. This group of... Uh, what the heck are they? Yep, J20s are firing. So the J20s are doing what J20s is designed to do. Get missiles out first and probably run away in real life, but AI won't do that. China today is not set to RTP once they've fired all the missiles because there is nowhere to go. So they will fight to the death and, well, I don't know. We'll just have to see what happens. Lots of PL-15s in the air. Remember, the humans can see, all the humans can see the other side that would be able to be seen by their data link. So they won't see the hostile missiles coming and they probably won't be able to see the stealth aircraft. So that's a them problem. Again, look, the AI mega super horn is just going full pace uh, up to Mark 1.8 with limited them uh, to make these more realistic top speeds. So we'll see no more Mark 2 F-18s, no more Mark 2 F-35s. Mid-course, PL more PL-15s going out. So China have chosen the rising sun as a time to attack. First attacks of the match is happening. They've turned their radar on. The Superbogs are defending. Superbogs have had a shot. Fair play. Superbogs got within 36 miles of J20. J20 made an error there. Tactical error. They should have gone offensive missile crank and they didn't. And Superbogs carry so much energy they dodge. Well done, Superbogs. Brilliant play there. Brilliant, brilliant play. Even the lightnings are up and firing now. Now, are the J20s? How smart are they? Remember, all skill levels set the same. It's bad flying from the Chinese there. Pang, another. Pang, another. Pang, another. Oh! J20 is down. I reiterate, everything is set up as fairly as we possibly can. They just flew worse. Stuff's going on here. God knows what. Right, got to try and get an overview as much as possible here. But, oh my god, look at that. What an absolute mess. So we've got to try and get a rough idea of what's going on here. Oh, super bog down. Okay, four J20s down, one super bog down. Why did the J20s do so bad? I really don't know. I really don't know. Good notch. Two super bogs down. Where are the humans? Where are the humans? The humans are up there doing their human-y thing. Look at Grump. Grump's taking up maneuver. Words and stuff and things. his position away. So I'm such a nice young man. Out comes an orange one. In goes a white one. Six J20 is down. Two super bogs going down. J20 
expensive super bog. Nice an F35. We've got F. We've got J22 on F35. We've got within danger. Look at that. Good notch, sir. The stealth coating on J20 is just not good enough. It's stealth, but it's not stealth. Right, trying to watch as much as we can. It's going to get very hard soon. Six J20s down. Three super bogs down. Superbog probably is more maneuverable than J20 in real life and in game. Four Superbogs down. Two J10As. I don't know why they're showing up as J10As. It's because we based it on the model. I must have forgot to change it, but I can guarantee that I J10Cs. J10s going down. Yep, J10s are getting smacked now. Nine, um, nine Chinese down. Five Americans down. And it's all a big, crusty merge in the middle. You know my thoughts on crusty merge? Bang! There is the fight, guys. I told you it would be over quick. Graham's doing a thing. Like he's really doing a thing. Not sure. He's done that. I am hunting you. Oh, look at that. These missiles can be beaten. Gotta watch this. Gotta watch this. Wrong Grumps missile. What can J20 do? It's still Mark two and a half. Bang! Kill! 15 Chinese down. 10 Americans down. It's a lofter. That's going over those guys. It's going over for those guys. 17 Chinese down. 10 Americans down. 17 Chinese down. 20... Birds! This guy's gone nuts. Oh, it's Violet! Violet's right in the middle of it. She sent, and I quote, six Azrams out. Which is amazing, because she's not even carrying Azrams. So, how did she do that? Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Violet! Hmm. Hmm. Good notch, sir. 17 Chinese down, still 12 Americans down as J20's got through. Has he got any weapons, though? Remember, they'll just go dumb, and when they're out of we weapons, and just fly around. Because they've got nowhere to go home. So they will just sit there and take a JTAM. Up the bot bot. Oh, that one missed. Oh, no, it didn't. 18 Chinese down. 13 Americans down. And all sorts of stuff coming in still. J10C notching. How are the bombers doing? Okay, the bombers will take a while. They are lumbering. They're going as fast as they can, as high as they can, but they will take time. Remember, they've only got to get to the American, to the Chinese coast. They've only got 50-odd miles to go. And these guys are doing what they need to do. They keep the Americans busy. Keep the Americans on the back foot. Meanwhile... Planes are still taking off at the hard rapid they can. I wonder how USS America's doing. Uh, I can't find it. Where are you, USS America? No, they're still taking off. 20 to go. Yep, they're still taking off. Look. 20 Chinese dead. And a J-15's gone down. 14 Americans down. And look how many PL-15s are in the sky. Kind of what it would be like in real life. China has built a lot of PL-15s. Will America make a lot of aim 260s I don't know. I certainly hope so. Because we'll probably be on their side, but trying to have made a lot of PL-15s and a sky full of PL-15s is not a good place to be. Trying to capture it. Look at No Man's Land. The natural devastation of No Man's Land has created a 40 mile, 40 nautical mile channel where no one could get in without dying. And a temporary impasse is setting in. Isn't it interesting when you put this much variable, this much programming in, these things start to happen. These, these patterns, the systems start to happen. That's going to be a dead J10C. No, it's not. It's lost track. We will be pushing. Look at that. Pow! We'll be pushing everything to the limit today. Got a track in PL15. Yep, definitely a temporary hiatus. But now No Man's Land's been formed. No Man's Land is now 50 miles across. And no kills have happened lately. It's 20 Chinese to 14 Americans down. Jeez, look at this. Look at this, viewers. <laughs> Look at that man up there. Right? Oh, looks like EWR's found him. Ooh. America's will be pushed right back into the SM2 network. Violet's pumping out AIM 260s from her own base, pretty much. Do it, Violet. Push those Chinese out. Remember, Chinese don't have to win the air to air battle. They just have to contain the Americans until the bombers get in. That's all they got to do. There will be big losses. China will expect that and they will accept that. Bang, J10C down. American technology will probably, for the foreseeable future, still be better than Chinese for a while. But you put enough Chinese out there, you're going to contain that big fleet. 
good dodge. 22 Chinese down to 14 Americans down. The Americans are doing better. They've got slightly better tech and they're doing better tactics, which I don't know how they're doing it, but they are. AI favors America, question mark? 23 Chinese down to 15 Americans down. No man's land is now. 30 miles, it's down to 30 miles as the J10C is making another push. The weird ones with the weird skins. Wow, look at that guy. Ladies and gentlemen, first use of J10C. Version 2. AIM-260 is definitely a better weapon than the PL-15, and it's definitely shown, being shown here. Why? It's a two-piece missile. It's got slightly better range, slightly better kinematics. It's actually got the same CK head. We're giving it the same TK head, because who knows what the actual CK head is, right? Uh, right. Oh, that's a weird. There's one weird bug. One of you's firing eight Azrams at a time. I don't know who that is and what they're doing it, but you know what? So far, to have this is so amazingly bug-free, let's face it, it's pretty amazing. It shows you how so far we've, we've come so far. You see that thing that I'm pointing out of humans? 26 Chinese down to 18 Americans down. The bombers have not yet reached their apex. They're going to fire at about 200 miles. The missile can slightly, technically go a tiny bit further, but you've reached the radar limits at that point. Radar limit from Angels 4, you can only see a ship 200 miles away, so... The, the PL-15. Why can't I see these targets? Oh, kind of a... Uh... Look at that little effer. Bombers are still got 30 miles to go, really. Oh, have a look at this, guys. I didn't. The beauty of stealth. Stealth allows you to do something like this. True fifth gen stealth allows you to do that, and nothing can find them. Although they are, well, that might be a thing soon. Drop splash Simba. Way human on human kill in all this. Well done. Good tactics, guys. Uh oh. Huh. Right, no man's land is up to oh, 20 miles, down to 20 miles, 25 miles. Worryingly, I'm missing something in the J20 to try and find targets like a no, regular Soviet. No, I think it's your altitude. You're just, you're just funny out here. It's upsetting you. Because uh, okay. you're basically above them looking down. Supercab is still pumping guys out. 34 Chinese down to 22 Americans down. Still pumping in the missiles. Woo! Good notch. Super Hornet. SM2's out. These are old 90s uh, self defense ship missiles. Uh, they're actually pretty good. They may be old, but they're effective. And finally, the Americans have pushed so close to the ships that they're now getting attacked. Because this guy is friggin' Super Ivan in uh, J10C, doing J10C things. Bombers missiles still aren't out yet. As soon as they get their radar track on those ships, they'll fire. A thing's happening here. Ooh, ooh! Pang in the face! Good shot, Matrix. 11 J15s down. 10 J10 16 J10s. Almost all the J10Cs are down. The J10, J20s, 11 down. Total 38 deaths. Wow, 23 super bogs. Oh, only three F85s? Look, these PL15s are now flying over the carrier group. 32,000 feet above the American carriers and stuff. 38 losses to 26 losses. No Man's Land is now being maintained by SM2s. Let's check uh, that USS Ronald Reagan is not being gummed up. No, US Ronald Reagan is still pumping out a 68 or 72 Super Hornets. Still 38 to 26. Now, this is an interesting thing. See what's happening here? Huh? 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 That guy, oof, versus that guy, oof. Who's going to win? Probably that guy who's on the offensive. Oh, 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 cheeky, cheeky. Now this, if it hits, that's a $2 billion shot. What a matrix. One AWACS down. The gods of China saw fit to give them two, though. They always go with redundancy. Take a shot. War dogs, take the shot. War dogs, war dogs, war dogs, war dogs, war dogs, war dogs. I can't find him. I have to see what's going on here. The problem is this guy can't see that guy. In fact, he is technically within range to see him, but seeing a stealth target moving out, you know. It's, American it's... AWACS destroyed. Oh, ho, ho, yep. sock! Bergerino did it. The gods of America saw fit to give them two, though, so for the time being, it's not going to make any difference, but that's half their seeing power. The most powerful asset in warfare is an AWACS. Take the AWACS out, it diminishes the fighting ability on that side by lots. But War Dogs has come to sort it out. Now, can he get his S together in time? I don't think so. And it's a War miss. Emerged. There's a merge. He is below you. Really big supersonic merge between those two. I'm going to let them battle it out and concentrate on the main fight. Still Super Hornets pumping into the battle. 39. Chinese down to 30. Wow, they're catching up. Really catching up now. They're putting America under a lot of pressure. Americans are starting to run out of fuel. They're running out of ammo. Yep, check out my peeps. Am I? 
What does that mean in English? Oh, no, they're out! They're within 200 miles. The YJs are out. YJ12 uh, Mark II from GR is out at 200 miles. There they go. We saw fit to give them the orange color because they are Chinese and Chinese are orange. That is 40. 40 missiles on the way to America. What can we do to stop them is the question. Now, this is serious stuff. And this is what I was worried about as well. The Chinese force, fight force is dead. They're all dead. There's five guys left and those guys have got no freaking ammo. So they've done what they needed to do. They contained the Americans just before the Americans could break out, before Kadena could get there, get scrambled, and got their things out. This is what modern naval warfare or modern warfare is, valued viewers. And it's the perfect uh, uh, tactic done by China. They've accepted their losses. They know they're going to lose 40, 40 fighters and 40 pilots. But if they can get these 40 missiles out, it was worth it. Now is how good is 90s SM2? And how good is our programming? How good? Bird. Well done. Is YJ yeah. going to be? You got him. Yep. Yeah. Oh, did my missile get the other Oh, it went right past it. It went ah! right past it. Just oh. couldn't keep alive long enough. America is hanging on by its fingernails right now. Chase. I will chase you. China's done so well. 44 Chinese down, 32 Americans down. We finally lost Matrix. And now at a YJ. Now these things are real bullet heads. They are not stealthy at all. They rely purely on speed. They will force their way through the air up to, slowly gaining up to Mark 4. And slamming to the carriers at Mark 4. Everything is about speed, speed, speed. And put enough vampires in the air at once. America, Aegis, or anyone will struggle. That's the ethos of America, of China at the moment. They also have their hypersonic missiles, but not a huge deal at the moment. And we're in the middle of modeling those at the moment. But when we add those, we have to start modeling SM2 plus SM6 for anti-hypersonic. So it's all got to come as one big package, which has slowly been worked on. <gasps> And words, um, 72 Hornets are still taking off. Nothing's gummed up on USS Ronald Reagan. Just America's mopping up the what's left of these guys. They're all Winchester, they're all RTB, and they're going to get mopped up. That's 45 Chinese down to 33 Americans. But it's all about the vampires now. American humans, what can you do? Can you lock onto those YJ-12s? They're not stealthy and they're big. Can you lock on? Can you shoot them down? The best thing you can do right now is try and defend from SM uh, YJ-12. Ooh, good hit. We're making our own damage models now, so all the damage model works. You're not going to see any weird uh, planes accepting multiple missiles and stuff like that. Right, here's the fight now. The distance, YJ-12, is 50 miles from America. Valued viewers, if you're American, I'm aware you pay my bills, but I apologise. We can set everything up fair and square. And these war games are good to run, because we'll see where the weak spots are. Chinks in the American armour are. Now reach Mark IV. Maximum speed. SM2 is pumping out. He's trying to look at a ship. He's going to sit there and pump his SM2s out as quick as he can. His old missiles, but they are rated for Mark IV targets. And here we go. How's it going to go? Also, how's our seeker head going to work? Is it going to work or are they all going to go for the first vessel? I don't know. They don't look like they're going for the first vessel. They look like they're working. We have two modes that we can fire these GR YG2 V2s in. Where words? And I put them in battleship mode. They will seek out the, the targets with the largest radar of cross sections, pretty much as they would do in real life. Jesus, look at the SM2 network firing. Server's going to need a new CPU after this. As well as that, Dad is going to need a brand new bag. Hopper's going to need a brand new bag. Splash one YJ20. Well done, Violet. You can save America with this. Uh oh, things are happening. Things are definitely happening. What are they going for? What are they going for? They're going for a carrier. They... Where oh, are they? Have they overshot the target? I don't know. I don't know. Let's give them a chance. Uh oh. Everton, no. There is USS America. They've overshot the friggin' target. Oh, no. Sorry, Valley viewers, but making these missiles is incredibly difficult. Ah, I think they've overshot the target, guys. I don't think so yet. And there's only so much we can test them. There's only so much we can test them on single player. You've got to test them on multiplayer. Oh, I don't know, guys. It, 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 hey. My theory is... I don't know. We'll have to look on the tack view. We'll look on the tack view. My theory is they haven't worked. A, a bit of shame. Such a crescendo. They seem to be stuck at their altitudes. Yeah, they're not diving down. Look. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it, guys? Oh, well, we'll watch, watch the last ones going in and then we'll debrief. What we will be able to do is look on tag view and see when they terminate and we'll see whether that would have been a ship hit or not. So we can get a calculation from this. I explain why the SM2s. Oh, no, they're hating them. 
See, the value because they're not diving, they should be diving, so they've malfunctioned, unfortunately. One ship down. Oh, a ship down! I take that back! Uh, Splash! Yeah. I wish I knew more of what was going on. It's Nardy Burke went down. I don't see any more of the uh, YJ 12s. No, they've tell us full 40, all 40. We'll check out an attack for you guys. There's one more, there's two more Chinese fighters that need taken down. Take them down quick, and then we'll we'll debrief and try and work out. Splash another. Very hard to know what happened there, guys. I thought there was any left. How are you killing them? What are you killing them with? Yeah, the Amram's good against them. Oh, the M260's um, good. I wonder how many. Yeah, I guess Dakley will tell us what's going on. Oh, Valley View, this one. I took out one. three of them. Yeah. Well done, Violet. It shows they can be shot from uh, air targets. One more, but it's just run out of legs. It must be fired from further back than 200 miles. Right, just waiting for these Chinese guys to die, and then we will. Um, we're going to debrief it and see if we can figure out what happened there. Dang good fight, though, guys. Dang good fight. Watch the death throws. Can Matrix get the notch? Can Matrix get the notch? I don't think he can! Ah, bang! This guy's got a friggin' JTAM on him. Sir, you are in trouble! Sir, you may call for help, but you will not get help! Dead! Guys, we've got a lot to debrief, guys, and we need to work out who actually won that. I was like, why can I see these AWACs? I should see them, but I was like at 70,000 feet, and I was like, <laughs> above one. I was like, oh. Mm. Then I found one optically. I was like, oh, well, visual, done. Right, Valley viewers, this is what happened. Obviously, lots happened. Uh, tactical victory in a way to China, in that they managed to get their bombers to fire their missiles. Now, the question is what the missiles did. I wonder how many missiles were fired there. Lots. I liked, really enjoyed it when the No Man's Land opened up, as always happens when... About, I wonder who's firing this freaking A-130s. Who is that? Oh, it's Wardog. Right, Wardog's the culprit. He's got the wrong mods installed, and I will uh, have a word of him afterwards, but... Monash. Didn't tell me. He's firing for some reason. He's firing AIM-132 Azrams. So he's got a mod uh, pop uh, on there. No wonder he couldn't shoot bird down. Oof, awkward. Yeah, that would make sense. Uh, we'll give him that, guys. Great tactics from Bird. Got behind the Americans exactly as J20 is kind of designed to do, and managed to take out an AWACS, but just by the skin of his teeth failed on the second one. Matrix and someone else on the American side took the F-35 and shot down a Chinese AWACS. So well done, guys. But that is why they have redundancies. They have you know, Northern Command and Southern Command, especially in modern battles. So that was all brilliant, guys, and worked beautifully. This is where it went a bit weird. What happened is why just like I said, first time we've tested them, and we can only really test them in these big combats. It will do something different in single player testing. And we want to see what happens really here. The F-18 radar picks them up quite nicely. They are closing very fast, so the opportunity to shoot is fairly small, but it's quite effective. Yeah, it's great to see that JTAMs could take them out, guys. So I'm watching them here. They're all at Mark IV still, look. And where were they going? Possibly headed for USS America. No. Where's the USS No, they're going the right way for the carriers. There is USS America. And I've lost the CV. I don't know where it is. Anyway, these ones are going for USS America by the looks of it. They're just getting shot, guys. They're just getting hit. Are they descending in that? They are no, they're staying at the yeah, current out. That first one is. Oh, no, he's gone over the top. That's weird, guys. What are you? It's really hard to know what's going on there. Analyze what's going on there. Why are they disappearing? Are they getting hit? Or are they just bugging and disappearing? I mean, looking at this, it's possible that that one missile could have taken the America out of it. Does that one there got through, look, to. and it's not descending. And that's the last ship is right there. No, they're not working. Look, look what it's that's done. That's actually one of them that I took out, I think. Oh. No, no, they just stopped in midair. I was watching it on my cam. Ah. See there? No, they're not working. The new YJ-12s are not working. It's very sad. But we've had an idea. We're just going to try rerunning the final missile attack in single player. The missiles will work in single player. What happens is when you start moving these missiles over to mass multiplayer, things start smegging up. So I've stripped everything out. All planes are removed apart from the AWACSs, which will be needed to support the missiles. The ships are exactly as they were. The bombers I've moved to the point where they fire. Let's see what would happen if we launch these 40 new version 2 YJ-12s at the fleet in single player. Unfortunately, sing uh, multiplayer just messes. It's not just DCS, it messes a lot of games up. Things get more difficult. Right, let's try and um, see what happens here. So YJs are about 60 miles out. It looks like they're all going for the CV. Because you see how they're vectoring onto one path? So it looks like they've picked up the CV. There, the first ships are firing. Less than two's out from the Arleigh Bergs. About the same amount should get through to target. Okay, starting, stuff's starting to blow up. I can't see any of the friggin' ships down there. 
I think it's just because we Oh, there they are. There's, it's because they're below that cloud, look. They're shooting through that cloud. There they are. Oh, one got shot down. I got shot down. Right, so everything's fair and square so far. So nothing's made it through yet. You can see their altitude decreasing, so they are working fine on single player. This guy's got through, I think. Yep, they're definitely converging on something. Oh, look at that. They've gone for a destroyer. Huh. Well, that's their decision to make. That poor early Burke. Poor early Burke. Oh, the sea was hit it. Pause. Right. Wow. How about that? Oh, no, it got through. It got through. The. It's almost like the sea was hit it and his body got through. Wow. No, it was, it was the second one right behind that. Ah, so I see it. Yep. The top yeah. The first one and the second one got through. Yeah, well done. First one hit. Sorry, first one got hit there and blew up. Second one. Got through and set the ship on fire. Oof, too many vampires down. And this one's going to get through. Bang! Dead destroyer. Stop. Yep, destroyer's out. Isn't that interesting? They went for, in the end, not even what they were supposed to go for. They went for, oh, uh, well, the mysteries of DCS, I'm afraid, guys. Uh, yep, he's dead as well. Bang! Pause. Beautiful thing about single player is we can pause. So all of this first wave went for that destroyer, and they'll all go for it now as well. Well, the damage model on these ships changed. That looks pretty. That's impressive. Look at that. And the reflection on the water is super yeah. pretty. Got all the different parts on fire that never used to be there. Solved War Dog's problem and learned something in the process for future. This was with videos. his Azrams, yeah. Yeah. All right, send. So Swedish mod pack is the conflict. Did he have a Swedish mod pack installed? He did. Oh, it's his own fault, and isn't it? He should know not to do that by now. Yep, I churched him up on it. You know, explained it to him why it's happening, and then like just general like just general good practices. But this is why we're going to start having our meetings, isn't it, to stop these stop these errors? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I'll, I'll I'll put that out probably Thursday or Friday. That Monday will be the will be the first one. Roger. Yep. Sounds good. And these, were one, these ones went for another destroyer. I wonder what it is in their little AI brains that decides to go for that particular vessel. Is that weird, viewers? I wish I knew that much. I wish I knew that much. I, I've got a video that can explain it to me, Cap. Hang on, let me just see this last one's in. But I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Cap, we've already done the video. I know. He's going to do the missile nose where it is. All right, there you go. Right, Valley viewers, so it turns out they never would have hit the uh, carriers anyway. This is this is a single player. This is them working properly, quote unquote, as we've programmed them to. But obviously they're not, look, not working like we liked them to. It looks like they started going for the carriers because one set went for that carrier, but then got distracted by this guy here. And then the other ones went for USS America and then got distracted by the guy in the way of, of USS America. It's just how it is. It's the best we can do at the moment with what we've got. So... They never would have actually hit the carrier. But one thing's for sure, they did get a few missiles through on some ships. So some damage has been done. So if you were to compare it to real life, it's just whether China's missile tech is good enough to be able to choose to go for a carrier or not. And I don't know, you'd have to tell me that. Um, I'm going to sign off for that video. That's the best we can do at the moment, and I'll see you later.